I, M23, just found out that my boyfriend, M37, X committed suicide. I've been dating my boyfriend for three months now. The relationship has been caring and extremely supportive. He has herpes and a couple weeks ago he shared to me that he dated an 18-year-old for some weeks at the beginning of the year and that he gave him herpes. He told me that he always discloses his diagnose with everyone and I believe him because he did. With me, the relationship has always made me uncomfortable and we had an argument about how it is obvious that it was not a healthy relationship to have and that there's no way an 18-year-old can be developed enough to date anyone that's 37. It waits on me that he gave him herpes. But today as I was stalking his ex on Insta realized that he committed suicide a couple weeks ago. And I can't stop thinking about how maybe him giving this 18-year-old herpes might have been one of the reasons of the suicide. I'm angry and don't know how to navigate this because he is nothing but sweet and supportive to me. He also faced repercussions by one of his friends by getting cancelled. So I'm aware he might have learned his lesson. Should ask if he is aware that his ex died? Or just keep this to myself and continue with this relationship? I don't know what to do. I'm 36. And the thought of having sex let alone a relationship with an 18-year-old turns my stomach. You are 23 years old. You have a lot of life ahead of you. Don't waste your good years on creepy old dudes with baggage and STDs. I don't know why you think 23 is any better developmentally for a 37-year-old either. Your BF is a predator. You said in a comment this guy was in high school when they dated. That is beyond disgusting. He's preying on you as well. He clearly hasn't learned his lesson from being cancelled, because he's doing the same thing again. Just going for someone slightly older so it's a bit easier to deny. Nobody can say what caused the ex's suicide. Predators like your BF will go after vulnerable people. It's likely he already had mental health issues before meeting your BF and that's what made him easy to manipulate. Don't ignore your feelings. You know something's wrong. Don't bother telling him about the suicide. I can't see it being productive. Just leave. 23 is still really young compared to a 37-year-old. I think you are too young to be with a 37-year-old too. So if you don't already have herpes you should end it before you get it. Doesn't matter why the ex committed suicide. However, the fact that he even had a relationship with an 18-year-old is incredibly worrying. Even 23 is too young to be with a 37-year-old. Of course he's getting cancelled. And so he should be. He's not a victim. You are. And so was his ex. Friend, you are very critical of your boyfriend dating an 18-year. But you're a hell of a lot closer to 18 than you are 37. Think about that and consider if this is the kind of person you want to be in a relationship with. The ex was 18. You're 23. I'm sensing a pattern with your BF. Op. But aside from this, I think you're making some wild assumptions here. You don't know why the ex ended his life. It could be for mental health reasons completely unrelated to your BF. You can ask if he's aware of the ex's death. But I would leave it at that. I don't think it's fair to suggest any blame for his ex's choice. I don't think you need to bring it up to him. On another note, your boyfriend preys on young people. You literally had an argument about it. You're more age appropriate to date the 18 yo than a nearly 40 yo man. There's an inherent power imbalance and he knows it. What the hell does he have in common with an 18 yo? Don't you see an issue in your own age gap? He's almost double your age. Has an STI and one of his partners committed suicide. Not to be rude, but some of these questions really answer themselves. So he might have learned his lesson? Hun, 
He already knew he shouldn't be doing it and what the repercussions would be. And, cancelled. It's such a lame-ass way of saying, face the consequences of a conscious and knowledgeable choice. He made that could potentially destroy another human being. I am 37 and I cannot imagine dating an 18 yo ora 23 year old. This man is being a predator to young men whose brains aren't even fully formed yet. I'd end this relationship so freaking fast. You're too young to be dealing with someone that old with this type of baggage. You're career motivated and don't need this nor do you need a setback like him. It seems like you already know what you need to do. Do it. Babe, no. Please leave before you're left with lifelong trauma, they are not worth it x. This whole story is terrifying and tragic. Your BF is 37. He's pushing 40 and he was preying on a 18 year old. A teenage boy. And gave him herpes which he won't get rid of for the rest of his life. It might very well have played a part in his suicide. That doesn't matter. The point is your boyfriend is not a good person. At all. If you have any respect for yourself you have to break up. You were both way too young to risk your health with a guy that age. Are you serious? Have some respect for yourself. Ah. Read this all back to yourself and ask yourself what would you tell a friend who was going through. The same thing? You're dating a 37-year-old man who gave an 18-year-old fresh out of high school herpes. The age gap is icky. No. Dating someone who was 65 does not make this okay. You can find someone else sweet and caring who isn't a predator obviously preying on people. Significantly younger than him. You deserve better than someone like this! Exclamation mark. Let it go and move on. Quit dating creepy older guys. Be fortunate it wasn't the other way around. He clearly didn't learn his lesson since he's dating a 23-year-old now. You're only 5 years older than his ex. Ah. I'm only 30 and I wouldn't even look at anyone 1826. You know how people on Reddit always say there's a reason why people his own age aren't interested. In him? It's true. You're already creeped out. Time to dump him. Your call on whether you tell him about his ex or not. The fact that a majority of posts here tend to be from women in their early 20s dating someone in their late 30s and above and wondering why their boyfriend is weird AF is equal parts funny and depressing. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.